Hi, Art Bell here, professional voiceover artist, and what I'm about to read tonight is a documentary storytelling type of voiceover. Stay tuned. Welcome to our Boys and Girls Club of Northern Westchester. Established in 1939, the Boys and Girls Club is a nonprofit organization dedicated to serving local youth ages 6 months to 18 years from more than 40 northern Westchester communities. There are many locations around the U.S. that share our same mission, which is to inspire and enable all young people, especially those who need us most, to realize their full potential as productive, responsible, and caring citizens. In order for you to become more acquainted here at our club, we think it'd be a great idea for you to understand the history of our location. So, here's a brief overview. In 1936, jobs in Mount Kisco were scarce. Opportunities for supervised recreation were sporadic. Swimming took place in a series of forbidden mud holes. Petty mischief and more serious offenses were a matter of general concern. In December 1936, a committee of local citizens was formed to explore the establishment of a permanent club for boys. The opening date was set for March 1, 1937. On the first day, 85 boys enrolled. By the end of the week, there were 115 members, and in less than a month, total enrollment was 225. About 70 boys attended the club each day for a variety of activities, including volleyball, boxing, ping pong, baseball, handball, and horseshoe pitching. The following two and a half years at the new club were a period of growth and consolidation. The organization was officially incorporated on October 3, 1939 as the Boys Club of Mount Kisco. In 1940, that year's annual report announced, our organization is no longer in the experimental stage. During World War II, many of the club's directors, as well as older club members, joined the military. Back at the club, a victory garden was started, yielding eight bushels of potatoes in its first year. In May 1947, there was a long debate on whether a jukebox and a soft drink machine were appropriate for the club. Both were installed to the immense delight of the boys. Shortly thereafter, television made its debut at the club and was given credit for an average nightly attendance of 150. Today's script was about the Boys and Girls Club of Northern Westchester. They wanted a really storytelling type of voiceover, something that was slow, interesting to listen to, but also soft and kind of historical sounding, and really emphasis on some of the words throughout the script. So I really needed to pay attention to what the script was actually saying. Um, this script actually turned out to be about 10 minutes long. Uh, the video is on their website, and it's just a really nice video st telling the story of the Boys and Girls Club of this particular location. What I did tonight was just a little excerpt of it. Are you looking for a voiceover artist to perform your documentary or storytelling type of script? Feel free to contact me. All my information is in the description below. Thanks so much, and make sure to like and hit that subscribe button for more content.